What's up, everybody? Terrence F. Clark here at Nelson's Drum Shop. Proud to endorse Instant Bull Agap, playing quite a uh, few beautiful pieces here today. And um, I want to share with you kind of my thoughts about them, if you're interested. Yeah. Right now, I'm playing one of my favorites, the uh, Mantra Ride, the 22. It's the Cindy Blackman signature. One of her signatures is nice. I'm also playing the Mantra Crash 20, Crash, that's also hers. The Epoch, uh, the Ride, 22 Ride here on my left. And one of my faves right now, uh, the Exist Dry Dark Brilliant Crash in the 22. And then I'm uh, playing the 16 inch Agop Signature Hi-Hats. What I love about these symbols are just the characteristics across all lines. They can all mix, as you see, these are all different ones that are, that are mixed up together, and they sound incredible. Everything has its own depth of sound, and they interest me in whatever style I choose to play, you know? Currently, I am touring in, uh, with uh, Keith Urban in the country realm of, of music, and so they still definitely work with that. I'm playing Exist mostly on that with the Fusion Ride and going between 15 and 17 inch hi-hats. But I love these cymbals. They're still very much handmade, very OG uh, in the uniqueness of how they're made. So they feel like my sound. So Istanbul Agap is very special to me. Uh, I've been playing them now for 14 years, it seems, which seems like a blip in time. Uh, I didn't realize it's been that long, uh, but I'm grateful to be part of the family. Scott welcomed me in early. I think before I was even welcomed in, I was playing this, the cymbals. I had a very simple setup. Uh, you had the, the 24 uh, Joey Womaker, the 20 ohm, 15 ohm hats, and that's all I had, and it's the best, you know? So I think that sold me on how simple of a setup you can have and how diverse and versatile those sounds can be, you know. I, I really enjoy every bit of the relationship with the company. Uh, Scott has been super kind to me and I've gotten a couple of my buddies on the team. I'm a big believer. This is solely what I play. This is, these are the only symbols I play on any recording. Uh, I'm, I have a solo uh, improv album. I also have a uh, improv trio. Um, as well as the studio stuff that I do um, and the different artists from Cheryl Crow to uh, Therese, um, David Ron Harris, um, and many others. All these styles are very different and these symbols float through all of those sounds. I think people should like really dig them out, you know, and check them out. It's not a hype. I don't think it's a hype, personally. I think people are learning what they bring and what they can do. And either you dig it or you don't, you know? So, just like me, either you dig me or you don't. I have to say, the way I got to Istanbul Agap is really organic, really great. The way that I think the brand thrives, you know, it's like you find out about it through a friend, uh, the same way you find out about music or any like interesting, cool, unique thing. The way I came to Istanbul Agap was through my buddy, George Slupik. He's been a big ambassador for the brand uh, long before a lot of people probably were even hip. That's how I came to it. And the same way he did for me and, and bringing me into understanding the sound, the same way I've done for many of my friends, be like, hey, you gotta check this out. It's a relational brand to me. I think it builds on just the fact that like, it's who you know and who you get to know. And that's how these symbols thrive. It's, it's like you get to know them uh, and the names attached to them. Like I said, I am a big fan of Cindy's playing. First off, her, her character, her, her personhood, her existence. So the fact that she created a sound in these symbols, it's just kind of like paying homage and honoring what she does and what I do. And that's what this brand to me represents, you know, the different people who have come in and out of it. So yeah, I'm, I'm digging them. You gotta check them out though, you gotta check it out, seriously.